Hey guys, Jelena Jensen here with your favorite baldy, Limpy, welcoming you to this week's free MMORPG weekly news. Damn you, Limpy, why do you always make me start out with the negative Nelly stuff? Well guys, the Jolly Roger flies no more for pirate MMO Cartuga, and Ticking Bomb Games has been locked away for good at the bottom of the sea in Davy Jones' locker. Cartuga did not live up to expectations during the recent closed beta, and it was decided it was in the best interest of the studio to have an organized closure that would enable as many Ticking Bomb employees as possible to take up positions with partner Inno Games. All is not lost on the high seas, though. The partnership with Ticking Bomb's Games taught Inno Games lessons that will be applied to future projects, and two new cross-platform titles will be announced later this year. Well, I guess that wasn't as bad as I thought, and you have more news from the company's other title, Forge of Empires. Let me guess this is good news? Sorry about that, Jelena, but yes, my news from Inno Games is far more upbeat. As it's the dawn of a new era, a ninth era to be exact, Forge of Empires is to see the introduction of tar roads for automobiles, zeppelins, and billboards in its July 24th release of the Progressive Era. With cars replacing horses, two-way roads mean builders need to connect their buildings to these new motorways in order for their society to function. Battle maps will now include trenches, snipers, and tanks, adding to the strategic component of the game. As well, there are now over 100 individual quests, and what would be a new era without two new legendary buildings? Players will need to progress through the era to see the new advancements in the usual way. Sounds like their times are changing though. I hope my trebuchets don't start seeing battle against tanks anytime soon. Last week we announced the change in the gameplay style for End of Nations. What more do we know this week? Well, Limpy, Tryon World's upcoming strategy game, End of Nations, has resumed invite-only testing with noticeably quicker and more dynamic adjustments during combat, streamlined UI, cleaner graphics, smaller teams of two to four players, and vastly improved hero units. For today's gamer, this could spell the difference between domination and annihilation. Other improvements to the alpha test include more focused objectives, better balance, and more concentration on commander abilities. Additionally, instead of two major factions in the game, there are now four new classes to choose from, which will dramatically improve matchmaking and queuing. Since we all know how impatient gamers can be, this can only be a good thing. Players should also check their Raptor account, as End of Nations and Raptor have teamed up to award players of newbie and amateur rank in top MOBA titles access to End of Nations alpha testing today. Okay, I think I am all strategy titled out for this week. What do you have for us on the arcade front, Limpy? Woo! Yeah, that certainly was quite the block of strategy news. Now, you guys ever wish you could control time and space? Me, personally, I'd settle for just controlling the remote control. But for you gamers out there looking for the enhanced teleportation skills and spatial magic that allows you to pull your enemies to range, well, I've got a new class for you. As part of their Transformation Evolution series, free MMORPG Elsword introduced the Dimension Witch class. Battle Magician class sorcerer Aisha was quite powerful with her close range fighting expertise. But as a witch, she completely dominates the arena with her ultra fast mobility. Now, thanks to the marriage of her magical pendant with rare moonstones that fell to Earth, Aisha can now manipulate the very makeup of the cosmos. With intuitive and straightforward controls, Elsewhere delivers action-packed PvP combat and offers players of all skill levels the thrill of victory in combat, whether on solo missions or in a party of up to four players. Okay. Let's see what Jelena has for us on the Dragon's Profit front. The news I have is that you can sleep on the couch with the remote if you keep those comments up. You guys know the drill. There's a hoard of treasure that would make your life peachy keen. But standing between you and the good life is a crazed, axe-wielding king aboard a mighty chariot. But before you face King Cabal the Insatiable in MMORPG Dragon's Profit update, Spirit of the Red Flame, there are four other beasts to be brought to their knees. This is just another in what has become a steady stream of updates from Dragon's Prophet. Those players up to the challenge will find their efforts will be rewarded with access to new dragons and of course more epic loot. So grab a few friends and plan your attack on the Iron Fang Fortress. Limpy, what is up with Path of Exile this week? Well Jelena, Grinding Gear Games has announced that the world's leading video platform and gamer community, Twitch, 
has been integrated into their online action RPG Path of Exile, allowing players to stream gameplay from inside the game client, which introduces the elements of web webcam footage and Twitch channel chat. More importantly, the Twitch integration allows players to know who's on the leaderboards is racing at any given time. So users viewing the Path of Exile website will notice Twitch icons next to the player names wherever they appear on the site while streaming and can click the logo to visit that user's stream. In addition, not only is the leading streamer for a race event shown on the race page, but all streamers are marked on the leaderboard. So players can switch between them and watch them play directly on the race page as well. Additionally, the fully integrated Twitch chat appears as another chat type alongside the global, local, party, and trade chat. So it looks like I will have to try this out during one of my sessions in the near future. What do you think about that? I think you should. Okay guys, last but certainly not least, free MMORPG Neverwinter, set in the Dungeons & Dragons Forgotten Realms universe, is launching its first content expansion, Fury of the Feywild, on August 22nd. This new free module enables players to explore the enchanted woods of Sharonda in the guise of sun and moon elves under siege by Fomorian giants. Fury of the Feywild promises new weapons, new rewards, new creatures, and of course new areas to explore. But you don't have to wait till August to get your hands on the Neverwinter Night of the Feywild pack and Feywild starter pack. You can start preparing for your quest through Sharonda today. Perfect World Entertainment and Cryptic Studios promise many more modules and fantastical D&D experiences to come. Alright guys, that's all for this week, but for more info on all these titles, head on over to MMODen.com. Also, remember to comment on this and other MMO Den weekly videos and earn a chance to win one of our five weekly prizes given out each and every Monday. For now, this is Jelena Jensen for MMO Den. Until next time, pathetic balls and thanks for watching.